My name is Johnny DeFrancesco and welcome to Let's Cook That Book. Today I'm gonna to be sharing one of my recipes with you, which you can find on page 123. It is Sasa alla Napoletana. So this is a Neapolitan sauce. What I love about this uh, sauce is that you can actually use it for so many different dishes. So if you want a quick spaghetti al pomodoro, you can have it on hand and it won't take too long to make. If you want to use uh, in a vegetarian lasagna, you can also use that. So there's so many dishes that you can use this beautiful uh, tomato uh, based sauce. Now, to make this sauce, a lot of people complicate it so much. I love keeping this sauce extremely simple. Why? Because simplicity is all, always the best. But I always tell people use the best ingredients you can possibly find. And in this case, because it's a tomato based sauce, we wanna use the best tomatoes you can find on the market. Now we do have our own tomatoes at 400 Gradi. Um, they come all the way from Naples and they are extremely high quality. Okay, so getting into making this uh, tomato sauce, we're, gonna, we're going to use half an onion, we're gonna use 10 basil leaves, one uh, garlic uh, clove, or a little bit of garlic clove, um, 2.8 kilos of the beautiful tomato, and some extra virgin olive oil. That is it, like that's how simple it is to make this dish. So we're going to use half of this onion and just really simple, take the skin off. And we're going to dice the, the, um, the onion up. Okay, now a really simple dicing the onion. I am going to cut across the onion. And then I'm gonna just run some, the knife through. And then we're going to dice. And as you can see, the onion comes out nicely diced. Now what I want to do is crush just a, a garlic clove now. Simple. Now you know what I love using. I love using my little garlic tool because this thing is awesome. Where do I put it? Have a look at this. Now how simple is this right? I'm going to turn my stove on. And I'm going to place the extra virgin olive oil in the bowl or in the... And how easy is it to crush garlic with this? Straight in, grab your knife and just run it across and we're done, right? And we're gonna place the onions. And what I also do at this stage is I will add only three to four um, pieces of basil in the base of the sauce. Okay, so once the, uh, the oil starts to, uh, or begins simmering the, the onion and, and the garlic, what you wanna really uh, be mindful of is that you don't want to burn uh, the, the onion or the garlic. So what I normally do is I just, you know, continually stir, you know, and uh, it's actually quite therapeutic. You know, I just sit here and watch it cooking away. It's amazing, you know. Um, and then once you can see the onion becoming uh, translucent, what we're going to do is add the tomato into the pot. Now, what I don't do is I never uh, blend my tomato. So you'll find that I will put the whole tomato into the pot still in its full form. So the peeled tomato is still, uh, in, in, yes, in its, in, its, um, in its entirety. The reason why I do that is because I don't want to crush any of the seeds. Crushing the seeds can uh, transfer some bitterness to the tomato. So by keeping them whole and letting them reduce down slowly and breaking up naturally, you're protecting the tomato and also protecting the amazing flavor that the tomato has. So, 
At this stage, I'm going to add my tomato into the pot. Now, be really mindful um, when you're putting the tomato into the pot, just put it in and have it flowing into the uh, pot away from you. That way you don't risk having any of the tomato splash all over you. So at this stage, I'm gonna give it a nice mix. And I am going to allow this to simmer for about 40 minutes. And um, you'll also notice that I, I haven't used any salt. Um, but you will see me add a little bit of salt at the end of the process. I never put salt at the beginning of the sauce, always at the end because once you're reducing the tomato, guess what happens if you put the salt in at the start? The dish then becomes quite salty. So we put it in at the end and I've kept a little bit of fresh basil also because I'm gonna put that at the end as well. So let's see how this tomato turns out. Well, 45 minutes of uh, cooking and our Napoli sauce is now ready, but not until we do the final touches. Now, I like to add my salt at the end, so I'm gonna place my salt in the sauce. Now, the sauce is still very hot, um, and then I'll stir. Obviously, I wanna mix quite well, and I'm gonna add the rest of the fresh basil at the end as well. So I place some basil at the beginning and also at the end, and I can start to Smell that beautiful aroma. The basil now is starting to really kick in. Um, and that is it. Now, this sauce, imagine you made a pot like this at home. This will probably last you up to about three, maximum four days, I would say, in the fridge. But you can do so much with it, okay? So you can, you can make pasta with it. You can add um, this into a seafood dish. You can make lasagna, you can make um, melanzani, you can make like really anything that you can possibly imagine. This can be a base of so many um, dishes. So please enjoy and we'll see you next time.